Right. So for today, we are going to go into um, the following topic, the following subtopic, which include definition of compressibility, eh, followed by governing equations for in visit compressible flow, and then definition of total stagnation conditions before we end up with some aspect of supersonic flow or sh uh, including shock wave eh? and then of course we are going to have a summary at the end of this session at the same time i have one uh, sorry two examples uh, with regards to uh, 1.5 eh? so they we will try to go through the example together all right so 1.3 first definition of compressibility okay uh, all real substances right are compressible okay to some greater or lesser extent eh? that is when you squeeze or press on them the density will change meaning that the density will no longer be constant eh? variable density eh? this is particularly true of gases okay and much less so for liquids and of course virtually unnoticeable for solids all right so basically yeah, the amount by which a substance can be compressed is given by specific property of the substance called compressibility yeah, it is uh, being uh, called compressibility the unit is tau eh? the small t right and it is equal equal to the uh, uh, minus uh, one over the the volume all right uh, time the change in volume over the change in pressure okay so volume change okay dv right dv this is like uh, imagine this is the the uh, substance and you apply pressure you you imagine you squeeze it you squeeze the the object so that it become smaller right so the change in 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 uh, uh, pressure pressure plus dp dp is the change in pressure uh resulted to the change in volume and right? you can see that the the size of the box becoming smaller right? and then that is denoted by the negative sign the inverse the negative sign and inverse proportional right uh, when the volume decreases and right? when it is compressed that's negative sign and inverse proportional with pressure pressure change and it's just a, a simple com uh, uh, concept Okay, on, on what is compressibility all right i hope you can you can imagine that all right and then if we uh, look here eh, physically the compressibility the tau is the fractional change in volume of the fluid element per unit change in pressure so but the earlier equation right the 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 compressibility uh, equation uh, is not precise enough so we we want to consider uh, the case of a eh, a bicycle uh, when you pump uh, a bicycle a eh, bicycle pump eh? i can see that when uh, when we went to uh, ho chi minh city i think way back in uh, october eh, um, when we had our southeast asia workshop on aerospace engineering sawai i was there with few friends meeting uh, some of you probably eh? and um, and we i can see that so many uh, motorcycles so many bicycles uh, in the city right so uh, we know from our experience eh, that when a gas is compressed eh, when 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 uh, the person uh, pump the bicycle pump eh, uh, this uh, this particular pump to get the air into the uh, bicycle tire right so its temperature tend to increase all right when gas is compressed the temperature increases right so depending on the amount of heat transferred into or out of the gas through the boundary uh, boundary system right so so we can uh, see the the uh, in the, this picture right this this guy this man uh, pump the air right and then the air go into the into the uh, the tire eh? so so basically the air being compressed and of course if you uh, measure the temperature inside the 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 tire it will be slightly increased eh? right so if 
the temperature of the fluid element in the case is held constant and due to some heat transfer mechanism then the compressibility and the tau is identified as isothermal compressibility if it is held constant if the temperature held constant okay, so we call it as isothermal isothermal compressibility right so this is the expression for uh, uh, tau t which is isothermal compressibility if there's no heat is added or taken away from the case and if in the case that friction is ignored eh, friction is ignored the compression of the fluid element takes place isentropically and tau is then now identified as the isentropic compressibility eh? so now we have a uh, subscript S over there, eh? tau S, we call it as the isentropic compressibility, right? So, this is a partial derivative is taken at a constant entropy, H, okay? Knowing the specific volume, eh? volume per unit mass, V, small v, not the capital V, eh? So, I, they, they, I hope you are not going to be confused with the uh, symbol there, uh, small v and big v, big v like this, right? Small v is the volume, which is equal to 1 over the density. Then the equation can be written as this, right? Okay. And uh, we follow through dv over d, d rho equal to minus rho power to power of uh, 2, right? And then uh, the compressibility can be expressed as, as, as here and can be written in the uh, function of the density over the pressure, eh? the, the, the differential density over the pressure. We can rearrange this, uh, the compressibility, uh, as, as this expression, where the change in density equal to the density time compressibility, uh, with respect to the change in pressure. So, as summary for compressibility based on this equation, okay, the compressibility or the tau is very small and the change in density is roughly equal to zero. Okay. Different in density is neglectable, means that the density rho is constant. In This is in the case of incompressible flow for low speed case for the aerodynamics one case if the case of the tau is large where the change in the density is no longer zero you cannot assume it is zero anymore the different in density have value means that the density rho is not constant and this is what we call it as the compressible flow this is applicable for high speed case so this is applicable for aerodynamics number number two eh, compressible flow another index to gauge the condition is incompressible or com compressible condition is the Mach number right where the Mach number equal to the velocity right this is the big v right so this is small v this is the big v and eh, the velocity over the local speed of sound a Right, which is more than 0 0.3, it is then considered as compressible. If it is less than 0 0.3, it is considered as incompressible. I hope you can get all the points there uh, um, so that you can uh, jot down in your notes somewhere so that you can uh, understand eh, what's going on. This is a basic basic principle. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, can I have some more questions, please? Yes, yes, please. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering uh, why does people consider that uh, if Mach is larger than 0 0.3, then it is considered as compressible. Like, why do people come up with a number 0 0.3? Why it is not like 0 0.4 or 0 0.5? Uh, okay. okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very good question there. Yes, uh, it is just, uh, is, is, this number is not just coming from uh, anywhere. This is, this is being uh, experimented and also simulated and then they will uh, they calculate they found out that the density itself is changing if the speed is more than 0 0.3 yeah? the Mach number more than 0 0.3 all the, the values are 
the density are no longer uh, constant. It is already it is varies. So so the 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 num the number zero point three come out uh, from experiments as well as from simula simulations that uh, researchers uh, scientists have already uh, come out. And it's not uh, that's where it is coming from. Eh? So so based on um, research. All right. I hope that answers the the question. Okay. Yes, thank you for your explanation. Yep. No worry. Yep. Thank you for for the question. Okay, let's just move move on. Eh? So that basically we have already looked into the uh, definition of compressibility, and uh, you can uh, uh, read more explanation from the Anderson book, eh? John uh, Professor John Anderson book, where he uh, provide a more thorough uh, uh, ways of um, explaining eh, the the compressibility okay so but um, i i believe by showing a few slides just now is enough in terms of getting into what is defined as compressibility let us move into the next one eh, governing equation for in visit and uh, compressible flow all right if there is no other question uh, feel free to stop me at any time if you have uh, you are, you want to ask question or give opinion. Eh? Maybe if I cannot answer, maybe uh, Doctor Hugh can help uh, to answer the question as well. Right? Come, uh, yeah, we'll come. <laughs> okay. Right. Well, we want to recall back eh, the governing equations in aerodynamics one. Right. As I said, uh, in order for you to uh, get into aerodynamics two. We should not forget about the incompressible uh, flow uh, equations, the the process uh, in aerodynamics one. Eh? Let us look in, into continuity equation where mass can be neither created nor destroyed. Thank okay, you. So this is the expression of the continuity equation, right? And momentum equation uh, minus the force equal to the time rate of change of momentum okay and uh, these are the uh, component uh, component for x y and z okay? for incompressible flows the primary dependent variables are the pressure and uh, v the volume eh? so okay this is supposed to be small v eh? pv and hence we need only two basic equation uh, namely the continuity and momentum equation eh, to solve for these two unknowns the density and the temperature are assumed to be constant throughout such flow this is in the case of incompressible flow as a result no additional governing equation are required in particular there is no need for the energy equation okay but for compressible flow right okay, in this case the density is now variable okay and becomes an unknown because earlier it is known because it's a uh, density of air 1.22 kilogram uh, per uh, second right so uh, it is it is known eh? so but here it is changing hence we need an additional governing equation which is the energy equation in turn in turn introduces internal energy eh? internal energy e right as an unknown eh? since the internal energy is related to the temperature then the temperature also becomes an important variable so we can have energy equation eh? where energy can be neither created nor destroyed and it can only change in form of in, in term of form eh? I, either from uh, potential energy into kinetic energy or from uh, kinetic energy into heat energy and so on right so this above continuity momentum and energy equations are the three equations in terms of the five unknowns and eh? we have the p the v the rho t and the small e the in the e energy okay so we need five governing equation to solve compressible problem assuming a calorically perfect gas 
the additional two equations needed to complete the system are obtained from equation of state, okay, the P equal to rho RT or the internal energy equation E equal to a specific heat capacity at constant volume eh, times the temperature, right? So now we have all the five equations to solve compressible uh, flow uh, problems, okay? So governing equations eh, for substantial derivative, small fluid elements, moving through the flow field we have the continuity equation and then we have for the local derivative this is for substantial derivative for small fluid element uh, through the flow field so we if we look at the momentum equation at the various uh, x direction y direction and the z direction right and similarly for the substantial derivative the x y n and the z uh, direction okay so, and then we can then express the energy equation at the local derivative as well as the substantial derivative, the small uh, change in flow. So, in regard to the basic equations for compressible flow, eh, please note that the Bernoulli's equation, as we have already known before, that does not hold for compressible flow, okay, because clearly contains the assumption of constant density. So this is the problem with the Bernoulli's equation. We cannot use Bernoulli's equation to solve compressible flow. Right? If it is incompressible flow, yes, we can straight away use Bernoulli's equation. All right. Okay. So probably you you can see that yes we we have um uh, already gone through some governing equations for in visit compressible flow right so how is it going to be uh, used maybe in the tutorial session there are uh, problems that can be introduced by uh, dr hugh later on okay uh, to to um, uh, go through the the equations okay with, with uh, the relevant governing equation with respect to the uh, in visit compressible flow